Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel again. This is Nyongesa Sande and our website is nyongesasande.com. Well, ODM is one is the biggest, not one, is the biggest party in the Republic of Kenya currently because UDA is a, a, a done deal. It's nowhere to be seen anymore, despite the fact that it controls the majority in both houses. In this analysis, we dive into the recent revelation and clarifications by Junet Mohammed, the Suna East MP and ODM Chief Whip addressing rumors surrounding his alleged pursuit for the interior cabinet secretary cs role in kenya's government despite ongoing speculation and media buzz mohammed's firm public statement sets record straight rejecting any intention to seek or accept a government position and reaffirming the odm's party stance on independence from the current administration Point number one that highlights this kind of rumors is UNET has refuted the CS interior speculation. UNET Mohammed made it clear that neither he nor his party, ODM, is vying for a role within the government, specifically rejecting claims about his alleged bid for the interior CS position. Mohammed's denial indicates a strong stance to maintain ODM's role within the opposition, reinforcing its dedication to holding the government accountable and focusing on the interest of the supporters. But remember the rumors were saying that Kiture Kindiki will be the deputy president and Junet Mohammed will take over his place, as well as Moses Wetangula will be removed as the speaker of the, of the National Assembly and he will be replaced by Otiende Amolo. The Rariada MP. Point number two. Strategic positioning of ODM. The reason why UNED is refuting these rumors. You know the rumors when they are talked about there must be something. Okay. So why is UNED refuting the, the rumors? That is a strategic positioning of ODM. The statement sheds light on ODM strategy under the leadership of Raila Odinga and its members, including Mohammed. By denying any intention to accept government position, Mohammed underscores ODM's goal of preserving its identity as independent opposition focused party rather than aligning with the current administration. This stance is likely to appeal to ODM supporters who expect the party to remain critical and challenging towards the ruling coalition. Mm -hmm. Number three, dispelling political myths and rumors. Mohammed's response not only addresses rumors but also counters the narrative that ODM is seeking governmental influence through appointments. This move could be interpreted as a defense of his credibility and loyalty to ODM principles, aiming to reassure both party, support, party supporters and the broader public of his commitment to the position. Point number four, reasserting opposition's role in the current political climate. The empathic denial of interest in a government role aligns with ODM broader mission to offer an alternative voice to Kenyan politics. As the ODM chief whip, Mohammed's position sets an example for any other party members, highlighting the significance of opposition parties in balancing power, especially in a politically charged environment. Point number five, insights into ODM's internal dynamics. Mohammed's public statement also reflects the current state of affairs within ODM. The party traditionally led by Raila Odinga, the clarification suggests that despite potential opportunities, ODM remains focused on its goals within the opposition. 
This decision may be strategic, preserving party unity and dispelling any notions of individuals seeking government alliances. Point number six, public reaction and political engagement. This video seeks to engage viewers actively through encouraging them like the share to like and share and subscribe and remain updated on political developments in Kenya as well as any other types of blogs and vlogs. The bold language and tone is set straight. In the essence of Junet Mohammed's statement appears to be strategic response to maintain audience integrity, loyalty to opposition ideas. His firm stance against the interior CS role refocuses on intention of audience opposition mission and may bolster public confidence in the party's commitment to its best, adding a layer of transparency amid this swelling political speculation. What we know is in Swahili we say that Lisamolo Lipo Nakama Halipo Laja. So Junet Mohammed, we believe that he will be appointed as the CS for interior after if Kiture Kinduki will be sworn in as the deputy president and the immediate removal of the speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Masika Wetangula, will begin since they will have power and he will be replaced by Otende Amolo. Do you believe these rumors and speculations? Let us know in the comments below if Ruto is able to do this kind of thing to his own people who helped him in 2022. Thank you guys and see you in the next video but remember to subscribe to this channel and like the video we are here and we will continue let us know what you think about this video in the comments below and thank you so much keep it locked and uh, remember we also have a website called nyongesasunday.com this is a general blog whereby we we have real content that you can get on the site across this content is available for anything so thank you so much guys and uh, let's meet in the next video